But the on-screen images in hip-hop videos are nothing compared to what goes on behind the scenes. It's a world where sex is a commodity that's traded openly by women who perform sexual favors in hopes of becoming video stars and by rappers, directors, and posses who encourage it at every turn. Such activity had been an ugly secret of hip-hop until Corinne Stephens spoke out. I got you, but the girls are talking and the girls are talking. This whole industry is misogynistic. Corinne was an impressionable and determined 21-year-old when she made her video debut alongside Jay-Z. I knew that I was different and that I was willing to push the envelope more. And at the time, it was the attention that I was looking for, and that's what I got. As her resume grew, so did her reputation. As a sex toy, she says, for some of rap's most powerful men. From your Jay-Z's, to your Ja Rules, to your Diddy's, to your Mysticals. Anyone who was hot at that time, because we traveled in the same circles, we went to the same parties. I was definitely being passed around. But I let myself. It's, 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 it's what I wanted. I wanted everyone to like me. Corinne's behavior was perpetuated by an industry where men had the power. And a woman's body gets her on the set. You have a lot of sexy women walking around and next to nothing. It is a very sexually charged environment. It is a very testosterone-laden business. Wait, you see my... Oh. So yeah, that environment and that mix is going to lead to a lot of inappropriate behavior. Oh! Corinne tells all in her 2005 book, Confessions of a Video Vixen, and calls out the hip-hop industry for treating women as disposable sex objects. Every time I threw on that baby oil and that bathing suit and got my hair all done up and just to stand next to some guy, I was a prop. And how awful do I feel? You know, six years later, five years later, looking back at myself. Corinne's explosive book and her decision to name names has made her public enemy number one in the hip-hop community. Peace, Sue Head. I'm glad you're doing good with your book, girl, but you living dangerous. Chill out. I mean, that's just, wow. <laughs> Whew, I feel bad for all those dudes in that book. Her whole point is she's selling a product, so she's doing whatever she could do to make money and to get notoriety. If you're in this book and you don't like what you read, then you shouldn't have done it, and hopefully you won't do it again. Let me explain this to you. My thoughts on Corinne Stephens is, is that she talks too much. She's basically talking about everything that goes on behind closed doors. That's why they're behind closed doors. 